Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, Eva Talks. Today I will be talking about something a little bit different. And the idea just popped into my mind as I was driving back uh, from work. And in the background there was this uh, song, Waves, by uh, Mr. Props, I think. I'm sure many of you know it and that's such a sad, sad song and it made me emotional and nostalgic and I was thinking about the whole situation also because of the coronavirus and um, people who um, are getting sad and depressed and even um, I was thinking about my patients because now more and more people they coming to me to pharmacy to talk to me also with the prescription uh, for antidepressants and it's very sad that uh, there's so many people young ones and older ones who just get this quick fix i mean don't, don't get me wrong because um, depression that's an illness and it has to be treated but how can you find a good solution for your problems or issues at the doctors when you are only five minutes there and then the first thing you get it's a prescription with antidepressants those pills are of course essential for those who has diagnosed um, depression because they help you get by just to, to do basic stuff your routine like get out of bed, take a shower and so on. So I'm not saying that all doctors are crazy and just like uh, want to get rid of the patients. No, no, no. But there's so much more to it, to problems of my patients, people who come to me, because um, most of them they're not even looking for help in the standard way. So just to get the, their pills and go home. They come to me to talk about their problems, to vent and they seek a therapist. And of course, since I work in the pharmacy, so I'm the first person they meet. And sometimes, I mean, the stories I hear, of course, I won't tell any of them because uh, you have to kill me uh, first. <laughs> I'm like a priest. I just have to keep secrets. But I mean, in general, they come to me to vent, to talk about their problems. And even when they have families, loved ones, they're married, they have kids, they have people around them. But many of them, they still feel lonely, ashamed. They feel bad with themselves, with their decision they made. A lot of people, they, they still live in the past and they are so fixated about like things that happens happened years ago and they don't have any influence on it anymore and then they sabotage their presence and their future of course as well because they keep living in the past and of course I understand there are different situations everyone has its past and everyone has problems there are not a single person in the world who doesn't and what I wanted to focus, focus on is that 
many people, they don't know me, of course. I'm just like a random person for them. And still, they can be so vulnerable with me. Why? Because I'm not judging them. I give them time. I give them uh, my understanding. I give them my smile. You will be surprised how or the, 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 the great influence that just a single smile has on a person. When they come to the pharmacy, they have their problems on their mind. Sometimes they are even aggressive. But when they see a person who's smiling, greeting them, asking how they are, sometimes there's like 180 difference. And then they start to open up. What I want to say, because maybe I'm over complicated, uh, complicating what I'm trying to say, is I'm encouraging you to be more aware of people that you surround yourself with. That means look closely, talk to people, uh, your family, your work colleagues, your friends, and then it is unfortunately but very possible that there is at least one person who is crying for help of course there's many professionals and so on so if they really need this maybe give them a tip to to visit a professional to talk to them to a person that you don't have any relationship with any emotions because then you can really open up and maybe let yourself help. Of course, there are many people who have depression or um, a lot of issues and so on. And um, first of all, what you do, you talk to your family. And it doesn't matter if you have a very loving family of course they want your best and they have the best intentions to help you for you to be happy but of course their opinion is always subjective and what they think it's best for you it doesn't mean it really is because the only person that knows you the best it's you only. That's so easy, but there are so many people that aren't aware of this and they let their family members, their friends, work colleagues influence them and their decisions. But the consequence and the burden of the decisions, which are not only good because a lot of people, they just decide or act without thinking about the consequence of the future. And maybe it's really good to take this hard time, the coronavirus lockdown and so on, to just think about yourself. Or if you're happy, if you, if you, if you don't have any problems and so on, maybe look around uh, and maybe there's a, a person that maybe needs your help. And I think like that the best currency, what we can give to people to help them even for five minutes, like to make them forget about the problems or maybe give a tip. Of course, there are, there are people who, um, who are closed, who don't want any uh, help from others and that's also fine that's their life and um, no one should force help on others who don't really want to to, uh, to, to receive the help so don't force anything 
I'm not encouraging to do this, like um, you can't break the wall with your head and don't even try to do it, it's like a waste of time. But if there's a person who really are struggling, maybe that's time to help someone. Maybe even with a smile or bring them coffee, give them a compliment. Or if they try hard at work, just say, yeah, well done, you did it good. Just small things and they will make your life easy. Okay, so what I wanted also to say, that I strongly believe that our best currency to communicate with people, to make them smile, to help them with their issues and problems is being kind, giving their time. Time is the most precious thing you can give to someone else because it's priceless. And a little smile. It always helps, even if only for a couple of seconds, minutes and so on. So that's like my thoughts. I got a little bit nostalgic and it was not really the topic I wanted to talk about. But who knows if I'm going to help or make thing only like one person, then my goal is achieved. So remember, remember, always, always, always try to stay positive. I'm actually like a realist, but uh, with a tendency to be an optimist. So I always encourage people to um, smile and get the best of the day, just step by step. Okay, so thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this weird topic. And I promise the next video, it will be um, more fun. And uh, I think in. So I wish you a pleasant day, evening, morning or whatever time you are watching this video. And stay positive because remember, even when this time sucks, I know that the better times will come. It's always like this. What comes around goes around. So thank you very much. Thank you for your time and your patience with me. It was supposed to be a very short video, but uh, somehow it got longer than expected. And uh, if you like the video, um, leave the like, subscribe and leave a comment. Um, yes, and thank you very much again, again, again. Kisses and see you very, very soon. Thank you.